You might be making massive mistakes to your fantasy roster for Thursday night games, and you probably don't even know about it. So you think you've got your lineup figured out for this upcoming week. You studied the matchups, read expert analysis, and looked over the projections. Thursday night football comes up, and you play a wide receiver in the flex position. He goes off for 10 points, and you're neither overjoyed nor disappointed. However, this is fantasy football, and disaster can strike at any time. Sunday comes around, and your star receiver gets hurt in warm-ups. You look to your bench for replacements, only to discover that you don't have another decent receiver on standby. All you have are decent running backs and tight ends. Your flex wide receiver is locked, and the waiver wire is running thin. All of this can be avoided. How? It's simple. Don't play early game players in a flex position. Let's rewind the scenario back to Thursday morning. Place the latest game player in your flex position, which happens to be your star receiver. Your wide receiver too gets you 10 points, and on Sunday, your star player gets injured in warmups. Now, you can take out your injured receiver out of your lineup and place one of your stud backup running backs into your flex. Remember, the flex position is flexible. It can aid you in any scenario where you need any running back, wide receiver, or tight end, and that flexibility is more prominent when you use it in later games. If you like this video, please subscribe and click that bell icon for future fantasy tips and strategies. Together, we'll do our best to prove to our peers that we have what it takes to become a fantasy football champion.